baby, huh? Looks like a panda bear. All right, you ready? You ready? Mm -hmm. All right. Hello, welcome to Star Family Farm. I'm Christy. This is Zenobia. We call her Zen for short. And you are? Me. Zen Handler. <laughs> All right, we're going to start out in the chapel. Today's verse is John 1, 29. Are you going to tell us what it says? The next day he saw Jesus, Jesus coming, coming to, to the him. world. Coming, to, coming him. to him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God has taken away the sins of the world. So, of course, that's for Easter. Um, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, I lost our camera. Where'd it go? Why oh, won't it? Okay. Technical difficulties. In the yeah. little area right, so here. Yeah. So, hopefully, it's still recording all that. Yep, it did. All right. So, we haven't podcast in what, two weeks? This is our second week, and why hadn't we podcast? Mm, what happened? Been home. No, what happened to the? We were home. What happened? Why didn't oh. we have internet? Yeah, we didn't have internet. Our neighbors burned their pasture and burned up our internet cable. It happens all the time, doesn't it? So mm -hmm. What are you doing with her? I don't know. She keeps trying to get up. Well, let her stand up here on the table. She's she's. Let her fall off. Well, that's why you hold her. Just hold put her up there. Put she keys on. Okay, maybe that's not a good idea. Nope, she's standing on the kitchen. Why is Zen in here? Let's go, just move right on into the barn stalls. Uh -huh. Why do we have little Zen in here? Because Cinder isn't letting her nurse. No. Oh! <laughs> if it's still recording, we're good. And she's kind of weak. She's just now starting to fuss, so mm -hmm. we're happy to see her fussing, huh? Yeah. She got a little blanky. She was a little cold. <laughs> we put some um, fake colostrum down there just because. And uh, then gave her some milk, huh? Mommy gives her a little bit. Just, I haven't really been doing it every two hours, have I? I just, whenever she starts that, I normally pop a bottle in her mouth and let her have a little bit, huh? Well, I just brought her in the house maybe two, three hours ago. Yeah, so she was born Easter morning, yeah. correct? And she was doing fine, but then she started getting a little weak, a little lethargic. And Cinder's not letting her nurse. Cinder's just not letting her nurse, so. Um, it is what it is, right? Yep. So, all right. Um... Let's see. In the last couple of weeks, we've had twins. We've had, uh, we had a cutie. Yeah, we've had lambs. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know what all, because when we don't put from week to week, we can't really go back and say, well, this is what's happened. So, um, mm -hmm. how many lambs do we have left to go? Just the two big merinos if they took? I think so. I think so, too. I think mm -hmm. we have one more shell. It's a brown shell. There might be. There might be one more shell. We're going to have to count. But, uh, oh, and the big deal is Leo. Where's Leo? Who's Leo? A little goat. He's at Cheryl's house. Oh, gotcha. Why is he at Cheryl's house? Because Sweetie passed away. Well, we had talked about Sweetie passing, I think. Yeah. But at the time, we had all these bottle babies and now another one. So, yeah. how stretched thin is Mom? Pretty stretched. Okay, and um, you're not home a whole lot at noon, and mm. so they weren't getting fed like they should. So, what else? Why is he at Cheryl's? Because she's going to need to breed. He's going to be her breeding ram. Mm -hmm. Or her billy, right? Yeah. We, we have... I want an eye patch. Yeah. Oh, that's not an eye patch. That's, that's Nico and Lee. What is it? Okay, it's a sticker. Oh, so it really could be my eye patch. Stick it across there. We'll just stick it right there. Well, not until we get done talking about it. Then you can do whatever you want with it. Actually, I want it to go out in this thing. But anyway, okay. So, in the barn stalls, anything else happen? Cavallo's gotten rides on him, right? And yep. Star, right? Mm -hmm. Um, You've been rodeoing. Yep. Whiskey and Ice and Coop all doing well. Yep. Is there any horses that aren't rideable here anymore? Mm -hmm. Two that get kicked out. Yep, the two, the two little mares. Okay, will you stop and put Get an her? itch. Son, come on, take care of her. Give me that. But I have an itch. You took my stick. I still have an itch, man. It's bugging me. Come on. Okay, sure, right. Why not? On camera. Um. Hey, anybody's ever had an itch on their back? They couldn't reach? They would feel Okay, but you've itched it. And see, now it's an over you. You're hitting her head up against the table. I am not. She was nosing the table. There's a difference. She's yawning because you just knocked her little butt out. 
Well, and her leg is down here. No, okay. Huh? Well, let, her, let her stand up, son. Well, if she's standing on the keyboard, hey, just let her stand that. on your I lap. Got the baby. This is my deal. <laughs> yeah, wanting? I'm free to visit home, according no, to Facebook not free. app. Oh, according to that Facebook app, yeah, I'm worth a million dollars. Okay, I'm um, free. anything else in the barn stalls? Yes, we've been lambing. You've been shearing, right? But that's in the <coughs> farm. Yep. Let's move on to in the yarn farm. You've been shearing, right? You just said that. Anything else going on there? <laughs> We're going to rip out the shop. Oh, because it's supposed to be many fences next. Aren't we? we are so off tonight. Yeah. Um, I know. Okay, so mending fences. Storm came through. What happened to the shed this side of the house? It's flat. Well, it's only flat because I finished flattening it, but what happened to it? It is no more. It peeled the roof off, sent it flying east. One wall went west, and the rest of it just went everywhere. Mm -hmm. So we're going to rebuild that. Um, we salvaged what wood I could. Right? Yep. Uh, but we'll rebuild it. We're going to move it over and kind of make it so that... My nail file. And you're dropping it on the sheep's head. Um, we're going to make it over where you can get more west sun out of it. Right? Alright, so that's mending fences. In the yarn farm now. She keeps picking my things. <laughs> Come on, I, it's late. It's late. 10 20 at night, 10 15 at night. It's 10 11. Okay, that clock of this is 10 21. So, anyway, the night's just getting started. The party's You're right. just getting lit. Man. No, I gotta work. I work today. I've been to the hospital already. Come back home. I brought you dinner. The party's just getting lit. No, man. okay, so let's move on. We met Nico and Lee. Who's Nico and Lee? <laughs> Okay, so Nico and Lee is another channel, and they are doing the tat in a Jeep. Um, if you remember, we are on the tat. We're just not, it just happened. Um, what's that? There's more things to grab. That's not. Um, so they went, are going, um, okay, that's going to glare. Stop. I'm trying to, uh. You're glaring on the camera. That's not cool. People are going to be blinded by watching that. People might be blinded by looking at me too, but hey. Anyway, so Nico and Lee can be found in our featured or other channels section. If you look over, if you're looking on here, look over to the that side. I'm going to say over to the right. It's going to be on the right hand of your side of your screen, but I'm pointing to my left because that's going to be your left over there when it, it's in here. So, anyway. Don't get her drunk. She's asleep. Yeah, she's she's asleep. No, she's not. Her eyes are wide open. She sleeps with one eye open. This eye's closed. You need to go make her a small bottle to get her through the night. Something pop it in her mouth once in a while. But anyway, so they came through and they're doing the tap and deep. They're a really small channel so far. I think they had 164, 166. I don't and know. more than us. We have a thousand. They have a uh, hundred. So anyway, go follow them. And um, I met at the train, and they met Jethro. Jethro peed on their jeep. Seriously. Well, all the tires need water. I know. <laughs> it was embarrassing. I was like Jethro, and he started laughing. I wasn't even dressed, nothing. They were waiting on a train. I said, "You guys are gonna be parked a little bit." But anyway, <coughs> it was Nico and Lee, and they're a really cute little couple. They're super sweet. So. Anyway, but they're doing the tat, the Trans American Trail, and or Trans America Trail. What is the tat? Trans America Trail, and what is it? Explain the tat real quick. Come on. Um, it's this cross country trail that you follow. And it's but it's not on road. highway. It's like 90% on off roading. Yep. Correct. Mm -hmm. Guys do it on dirt bikes. They do old it on school. jeeps. Yeah. It is. It's old school. It goes from the east all the way to the west. Right. I think it ends at Oregon. And go so, from, no, it ends in California. No, I think it ends in Oregon. I think there's a way that you can go like from east to west coast all the way across. And I think it. I thought the only they weren't Virginia. going on to up to Oregon, that they were going to stop at California and they've got family there and they visit there. 
And then, anyway, go check out their channel and you'll find out what all they're doing <laughs> instead of us trying to tell what they're doing. But anyway, they got an attack, Trans American Trail, off roading across the United States. You can go from the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean. Yes. So. Ocean to ocean. Yep. Beach to beach. Coast and, to coast. Well, and there's actually, these. there's a map of California it. And all you have to do there. is um, contact Sam. I don't remember his last name, but just. If you'll just Google Tat Trans American Trail, you can find it in Facebook, you can find their website. Coast to coast. Yeah. So anyway, so we met I met Nico and Lee. Right? Yeah. When was uh, that? This weekend when you were gone, where are we going? Yeah. Yep. What do we do for Easter? We're gonna move right on into Not a whole farm. lot. I was going. You went to sisters? What'd you get done? Nothing. And didn't want to die, huh? I couldn't have won anything if I was trying to buy placings and they were giving them away for free. Yep. Um, so, the other thing that's going on in the farmhouse is I've been to the hospital tonight, haven't I? I made a table out of that thing. Okay, so. Uh huh. I got some water everywhere. Only because hey, you why have I been at the hospital tonight? It's good news to tell. No, it's not. It's not really our news to tell, but. We're going to tell it because she can't be here to tell it. Okay. Our old intern, Belle of Bean. Belle of Bean. Yeah, that one. Her real name, her last name is not Bean. I just call her Bella Bean. She, her name is Bella, but we don't put out her last name because her parent asked that we didn't. So, she's allowed to be Bella. She's allowed to be on tape. You just, we're not allowed to tell you her last name. So, that's it. So, I always called her Bella Bean. Just because they would be bees. I don't know. Anyway, she um, started working with me at the shelter back when she was, what, 10? Right? I don't remember. I know, she was so little. Now she's 18, and she's had a baby of her own. So, yeah. Right? Yeah. Anyway, so, um, do you remember the baby's name? It's a girl. Her name is Iris. And I was in a demanding that Iris, I pointed my finger at Bella's tummy and I said, Iris, get out here. Come on. I was afraid I was going to miss the birth and then um, I probably am going to miss it because it's probably going to happen in the middle of the night. And they don't, I'm not family. So while the family loves me like family, Bella loves me like family, the nurses do not honor, honor our kind of relationship. <laughs> So, um, Bella said she would text me or call me just whenever, or actually she looked at me, she was I probably won't feel like it, I'll have Nanny, <laughs> her grandma and I are friends, so grandma will text me or whatever, I left the hospital, I got there, what, 5, 4.30, I got off a little bit, I got off of work about 10 minutes early, I always go in a few minutes early, so if I can leave a few minutes early, that's great, um, I left there, came here, cleaned up, because I sunk, and then went up to the hospital and sat with Bella for like four hours or so. Um, she has had an epidural, but here's the thing is, Bella has what's called SVT, and it has to do with her heart. It's like a heart murmur, but it, it doesn't skip beats. It beats like really fast out of her chest. So um, stress does it. Uh, think every time she had a contraction, it was making her, her heart go crazy. So they had to give her an epidural to calm it down. And then they broke her water like, she hadn't dilated, but like from four to five, no, from three to four. And she hadn't quite made it to five when I left. And that was over four hours. So it's a, it's gonna be a long, slow progression, huh? Cause she'd been in the hospital since, mm, she went in at 9, and I got word that they were keeping her at like 9.42. And yes, I kept track of that. Um, Grandma checked in with me throughout the day. And when they said they were inducing, I was like, okay, hurry up, get my work done, and I'm out of here. <laughs> so, or not inducing, uh, giving her her epidural. So, because I figured it would go faster after the epidural. I never had an epidural. I had all my kids natural. I didn't even have an IV in when your sister came roaring into the world. My kids were always in such a hurry. Get out there. I had them all in two hours. I'm the one that you hate. Okay, if you've ever had a kid and had a long labor or whatever, 
yeah, if you have a horror story, I'm the one that, that you hate. <laughs> so, two hours, both times. I think RJ took 39 more minutes than her sister. And, uh, yeah. The fact you remember is 39. Huh? The fact you remember is 39 more minutes. You took 39 more minutes than her. She came at two hours and nine minutes. It and makes, you came, oh, it's only 30 minutes because you came at two thirty in two hours and 39 minutes and she came in two hours and nine minutes. And I'm always on this on time. She's always late. You took 30 minutes longer to get there, though. Just saying. When you're dealing, when you're getting things perfect, when you're dealing with perfection, it takes a little more time. Mm -hmm. And both my kids were over eight pounds. Just saying. So, yeah. People are like, well, you didn't give big, birth to big baby. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Nowadays, I mean, I've heard of 9 and 10 and 12 pound babies, but 8 pounds is a pretty good sized chunk. So, yeah. Two hours, no problem. They told me if I ever had any more kids just to camp out on the hospital grounds because I'd just be squatting them out. So, if you have a horror story, you hate me. Just say it. Um, Bella, unfortunately, she's having to go long labor, but they're having to be really careful with her heart. So, um, it is what it is, right? She's going to text me, call me, whatever. Matter of fact, I have my phone. Give me my pocket. Right. Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Alright, anything else going in the farmhouse? Barn stalls, like I said, lambing, shearing is going on. Um, fixing Good stuff from the like storm. She did. Um, when she gets healthy enough, she'll probably be put out on the pasture. Mm -hmm. But we have, oh, she's stirring now. All she's wanting. No, she just knows I'm still asleep. So. Okay. Um, but she'll be put out on the pasture, we hope. If the others beat her up and she doesn't have anything to hang with, then we'll keep her in here. But Christy, this is our first bottle baby that we birthed, correct? Yeah. Out of the Shetlands. The Shetlands, <coughs> we started with two bottle babies. And they were bottle babies, but this is the first one we've ever had rejected or anything. Correct. Is that right? So, anyway. Alright. Anything else going on? I haven't been working on anything. Oh, we forgot. The chicks and the... what? What's going on out in the chicken coop? So that has gone crazy. I had Mom accident. got 15 more baby chicks. They were a and buck a goose. bird. And they were all pullets. Anyways. Okay, so tell how, what happened, why did we end up with another goose? Because I didn't do that on kept purpose. Beating up on Sam. Sam is like huge, huge compared to the chickens. He's so, like this tall now. The day I got Sam, he wanted Sam, so I got Sam, and then I got 10 birds. And um, they're all pullets. The, the uh, birds are all pullets. What do you have to drink? Pepsi. And so I got 10 birds. And they were full price, so they're like two seventy nine on up to three seventy nine, four seventy nine, right in there. So I uh, didn't think anything about it. I just got ten because we've had something get in. A lot of ours are older. We have less and less chickens, correct? More and more roosters. We do. We have like five or six roosters that need to go in a freezer camp. But anyway, you so give them one. Yep, we will. If you want them, call us. We'll give them to you. If you want them in freezer camp, you can. Whatever. Um, anyway, so... Put them um, in your apartment in downtown Tulsa for all you care. Anyway. No, anyway. No, that's not a good idea. That's okay, can idea. I finish? So, I had bought ten chicks, and we got Sam. Well, Sam stayed in the bathroom because the chickens were kind of mean to him. And then he was bigger, so he'd kind of step on them, and he wouldn't mean to. So, in order to reserve the peace, the chickens went out in the coop, right, with the light. And then there was Sam. And every time we'd try and put Sam out in the coop to protect them, the chickens would beat him up. Like, draw blood, peck at his feet, pull his hair. It was horrible. He's got these little, like, duck wings, you know, so they'd peck on his wings. I just, I felt so horrible. So, we tried... Multiple putting him out times. there multiple times, multiple times. And they just clobber and just <laughs> And so we said, okay, we'll get rid of the totes. We got rid of the tote, and because I had them in a tote when they were smaller, and that way the heat was concentrated and they could stand at the heat. Well, then we got rid of the tote, 
And they still clobbered it. They still, it wasn't a, a thing of not having enough room. I thought maybe they were a little squished in there. I don't know. So then I got a chance to buy 15 more pullets at a buck a piece. So I did. And I uh, had them in a tote. And the only thing I could come up with was Sam needed a friend. Sam needed a friend. So I went back to where I got Sam at, and they had these other ones. They don't look the same, do they? No. The one's, he, yellow one. one's yellow and one's yellow and gray looking. So I'm pretty sure the yellow one's probably going to be white, don't you think? No. We'll see. I don't know. It's a goose. It's a goose. Anyway, so we'll no more. I had Sam in the bathroom, and I put oh, Taylor, which is what we've named the second one. Yeah. I put Taylor in there, and at first I thought Sam was going to beat him up her up. We don't even know if they're girls or boys. But he wrapped his neck around it and then he undid it and then he held his neck down with his head. Anyway, um, they didn't they stay in the goose initiation. I guess. They didn't stay in the bathroom but like, what, one day? Maybe. If that. And they took them out to the other coop. And the minute they were in amongst those chickens that were beating them up, they bonded and that was it. They are buddies now, aren't they? Yep, and the chickens don't beat them up anymore. And the chickens do not beat them up anymore. So now I've gotten the other toad out of there. Moose, that's enough. We're busy. Mm. Um, so mm. there's not even any totes, is there? There's two lights that they can get under, and there's two different sizes of chickens in there, and two geese with a different size geese. So, yeah. And then, oh, you had a farm visit the other day, didn't yep. you? Your farm visit is a three-year return, correct? Yep. First year, I think all he did was fall. And they didn't stay but like 15, 20 minutes. The next year, he did a little bit better. But this year, he just flopped right down. The goats got him. Yeah, he had on his, his picture clothes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the goat jumped up on him, put marks on his shirt, huh? Yep. Thank goodness for Photoshop, huh? Yeah. And then, um, I think we posted the pictures to... Um, Facebook. I think it's on our Facebook thing. Or I shared them. Uh, and then he went out in the chicken coop. Correct? I know. She, she's so warm. She, warm. she is. But she wasn't when you brought her in, was she? No. So, anyway. Um, so we've been having a few farm visits. Speaking of farm visits, what else went on? Uh, you had a phone. I got an email, which I had directed to you because I was at work. And you made a phone call, and yep. what happened? We had an interview. We did. We're going to see RJ's interviewing skills and see how he... They're terrible. Who was it with, and what is it? It's with a magazine. Call? Uh, Tulsa People. Yeah! That one. It's actually a local magazine that goes out for free in the Tulsa area. Mm -hmm. And they were super excited about what we do here. It was something different, something they never covered before, something that kids... People can do affordable things do with their kids through the summer. So we're in the June issue of Tulsa People. So, and today she confirmed through the email, right? A couple of things. So, yeah, it's been an exciting time. I'm trying to get everything done and I want to get things straightened up. I'm just running out of time. Time and money. If you have a million dollars you want to send us, hey, that'd be great. Even then I can hire somebody. At this, at this point, yeah, just send us a dollar. <laughs> Everybody send us a dollar. If all our thousand people send us a dollar, we'd have some money. Mm -hmm. Verify yeah. which one of us you're sending it to. Because we'll keep it separate, you know. Oh, no. Make it sure all goes in the farm. Well, what happens if they no. just want to send a dollar to me? Just to me. So I could, like, get me a refill on my drink. Okay, that's Arby's. They don't do refills <laughs> once well, you leave. I could get a new one then. If two people sent me a dollar, well, if yeah, two different people sent me a dollar, then they sent it for RJ's drinks. I could get a new drink. Okay, if they send you a dollar fifty eight, you can go to Walmart and get a two liter. Just saying. Oh, well, I. The thought guess. pattern mm -hmm. of a charm. Mm hmm. Okay, so or anything they could else? Just send me a two We're calling one. this. We're calling it. It's late. We haven't uploaded one. We want to get one uploaded. It's only ten thirty. Um, the party's just getting started. I have to work tomorrow. And you've got a baby to feed. She's asleep. Daddy. She's asleep. Daddy. She's asleep. Daddy. Daddy. <laughs> Daddy. 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 <laughs> nah, he's asleep. Okay, yep. good. I'm turning it off then. Peace out, Girl Scouts.
We will see y'all next time, and hopefully we'll have it back together and in format. Talk to you later. Probably not. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Show them the Lammy before we go. I don't want to move her to the sleep. Hello, the camera moved. Just stacked out. She really is. Her head is facing that way. Oops, sorry. She is just sacked out. Show them which part is her ear. It's hard to tell on the camera. That's it's her ear. And that's an eye. That's a mouth right there. Yeah. <laughs> and she is totally asleep. Mm -hmm. You can see the little thing right here. Up and down, up and down. <laughs> but she got her belly full and yep. she's feeling better. Alright, now we're serious. Get out of here. Bye.